Well, there are many interesting physical processes involved in cooking, and as a soft matter physicist, uh, I'm very fascinated by changes in phase, so how a material transforms from a liquid state to a solid state. And this can happen extremely easily with soft materials simply by adding or subjecting the material to mechanical force or just by changing the temperature. So a great example is when you take an egg white, which is a liquid, just by whipping it or beating it, you can turn it into a solid, which is a completely different, um, has completely different properties. There are, uh, of course, many basic states of matter that you'd learn about in high school chemistry, such as uh, liquid, gas, and solid. Uh, and in cooking and in the kitchen, there are uh, myriad materials that have are combinations of these basic phases, but completely different phase. So, for example, in emulsion, you can take two liquids and mix them together, and they become a solid. Or a foam, which is composed of a liquid uh, entrapping air uh, has solid properties. So you might be referring to, for example, uh, microbes such as yeast and bacteria, which are uh, cells that play a unique role in altering both the taste and flavor and as well as the texture of foods. And so uh, in the process of fermentation, uh, these cells, bacterial and yeast cells, can uh, secrete uh, or produce compounds that affect the flavor, but also, interestingly, the texture. So by producing gas, uh, as well as large molecules that alter the viscosity of a material, uh, in addition to lowering the pH uh, around the, these, these cells, this greatly alters the texture of food. So, for example, yogurt is produced from liquid milk simply by the acidification that's generated by these microbial cells. Well, there's a very intimate relationship between technology and cooking, and I think that advances in technology can drive new inventions and discoveries in the kitchen, and vice versa. So an excellent example, for example, is the refrigerator, which I think the invention of the refrigerator totally changed the way communities eat and plan their meals. Uh, and so this is happening all the time in, in the technological developments come into the kitchen and enable us to cook and eat in an entirely different way. Well, this is a very exciting collaboration between Alethea and Harvard. Uh, and as a physicist, I'm very excited about it because I think that food is an excellent way to educate students about the properties and materials of soft matter. And so... Uh, food is something that everyone can relate to and has uh, a lot of experience with. And so by using this as a tool to teach students basic concepts in physics, I think that they're going to get a lot out of this course. Uh, there will also be a series of public lectures associated with the course as well so that um, the word will get out to a broader audience, even uh, the relationship between uh, science and cooking and how we can learn so much about science through food. Thank <laughs> you.